hey guys so i want to i want you guys to subscribe that youtube channel also i hope you guys uh, will enjoy this video so good luck okay guys welcome to my new video actually this is a grade 8 video so let's see okay our today lesson is sound sound we hear constantly in the environment is produced by vibrating various things instruments that produce sound are called sources of sound it can be concluded that various musical instruments produce sound in various ways sources of sound can be divided into three categories according to the part that vibrates when producing sound some of the sounds we hear in the environment occur naturally while some other occur artificially artificial sound as well as natural sounds are produced by vibrating screens bars membranes or air columns humming of bees comes from fast motion of their wings grasshoppers and cicades generate their characteristic sound by rubbing the pistols on their legs Frequency of vibrations The number of vibration of an object per unit time is referred to as the frequency of, the, of that object. If an object vibrates 50 times a second, then it is said that the frequency of that object is 50 Hz. This unit is Hz and this is SI unit or international unit that measuring frequency of an object. Frequency of vibration is measured by the international unit Hertz. There are so many activities in this lesson. So let's see this activity. The equipments you needed are two tanning forks of long arms and short arms. The method Vibrate in the tanning fork of long arms and listen to the sound carefully. Then vibrate the tanning fork of short arms and listen to the Sound carefully. Both tuning forks should be vibrated in the same manner. Get the support of your teacher for this purpose. Now it is clear to you that the second generated by a tuning fork differs according to its arm length. It is the frequency of sound that changes here. Observe the tuning forks of different length. The frequency differ according to the length of them. The longest tuning fork has the minimum frequency. Frequency increases gradually with decrease in the length. There are mechanisms in every musical instrument to change the frequency. The seven notes in music are produced by change in the frequency of vibrations. Okay, this is observation and I am actually not explaining activities because you can identify you can get your knowledge by reading your textbooks okay summary of the observation when the tuning forks are alone the, gen gener the generated frequency is minimum and they are short the frequency is high okay Okay, let's talk about musical instruments that produce sound by vibrating membranes. Activity You will need or equipment needed a large balloon, a small plastic cup, rubber bands. The method Cut the neck of the balloon as shown in the insert. Plastic cup into the balloon and make it like a drum as shown in the figure. Use rubber bands which are necessary to tighten the balloon membrane. Straighten the upper edge of the cup also with a rubber band. Tap the drum, thus made and listen to the sound produced. Tighten the balloon membrane by pulling balloon down. Tap again and listen to the sound. Tapping should be done in the same manner at each instance. 
it will be good that if you watch this with your textbook because I don't have images to show you. Okay, let's talk about the observations. It is clear that the sound is sharp and high when the tightness of the balloon membrane is increased. The frequency of the sound produced has increased when the membrane is stretched more. Musical instruments that produce sound by vibrating air columns. Some examples for such equipments are trumpet, flute, harp and harmony. Ok, let's talk about musical instruments that produce sound by vibrating strings or rods. Ok, another activity the equipment needed is a guitar. Method, get the assistance of your teacher for the activity. Observe well, the way that wires are fixed in a guitar and the thickness of those wires. Then vibrate the wires one by one starting from the thick wire. Listen careful to the sound produced when each wire is vibrated. A sharp, high sound is produced when the short, tight, thin wires are vibrated. Sound produced by the vibration of long, loose and thick wire is not that sharp. When a guitar or violin is being tuned, the length and the tension of the wires are changed. Sound may also be changed by the way and the speed of vibrating the strings. Xylophone is a musical instrument with vibrating bars. This is observation and this is an equipment that produce musical sounds by vibrating bars. Xylophone produces sound because of the vibration of plates or bars or rods. Here, tapping to the shorter plates gives higher sound than tapping to the longer plates. It is clear that the sound produced by tapping shorter plates is different to the sound produced by tapping longer plates. The frequency is changed by the change of length of plates. Ok, let's talk about musical tones and noises. It is joyful to listen to playing guitar or violin or listening to a song. Such sounds are pleasant to our ears, but the sounds coming from factories and vehicles are not pleasant. Such sounds are nuisance to our ears. Rhythmical sounds which are pleasant to our ears are musical tones or rhythmical sounds which are favorable for our ears are musical tones. Such sounds are produced by methodical or formal vibrations of objects or sources of sounds. Sounds which are unpleasant to our ears are called noises. They are produced by non-formal vibrations of objects. Even a musical one may be unbearable to our ears when the sound of which is very high. It depends on the relevant person according to the person's skills. High and noisy sounds may be harmful to our ears. They disturb our day-to-day -day activities. It is our duty to use instruments that produce sound without disturbing. A musical one may be unbearable to our ears when the sound of which is very high. It depends on the relevant person. High and noisy sounds may be harmful to our ears. They disturb our day-to-day -day activities. It is our duty to use instruments that produce sound without disturbing others. I mentioned this before. Ancient, traditional and modern musical instrument.
It is said that musical instruments had been used for the services in religious places in ancient Sri Lanka. Large drum, double drum and trumpet are prominent among those instruments. Guitar is a very popular musical instrument among younger generation. It is used in local popular music as well as in North Indian Ragadari music. There are instances in the modern world where ancient and traditional musical instruments are used along with instruments like electric organ, guitar and tabla. Special importance of modern musical instrument is that a single person can fulfill the necessity of a full orchestra or number of instruments by using a computer and a keyboard. Octopad is commonly used for rhythm playing and organ is used as a permanent keyboard instrument. Ok, let's talk about musical therapy. Music can be used to improve the quality of life. Music has an ability to heal the mental stress and give spiritual happiness to the people spending busy life. Thus, the treatment given using music is known as musical therapy. Music th musical therapy can be used as a method of treatment to improve physical fitness as well as mental integrity. It is discovered that diseases and disorders of brain and nervous system, heart failures, mental depression, so on can be cured by using this therapy. Musical therapy can be used as a method of treatment to improve physical fitness and mental integrity. I mentioned this before. You can read this and understand. You may have experienced that no sound is heard through the longer blade is vibrating. I am talking about observations. The reason is that the human ear is not sensitive to the sound produced by the vibration of that blade. We cannot hear the sound of any frequency. We can hear only the sound of a certain range of vibration. The limits of the range of frequency of sound that human ear can hear is 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Man cannot hear the sound frequency which is less than 20 Hz or more than 20,000 Hz. Dog can hear the sounds of the frequency which is less than 20 Hz or more than 20,000 Hz. Bat can hear the sound of high, higher frequencies up to 70,000 Hz. Ok guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video put a like and if you need to something clarify leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe so bye bye